everybody. I'm Blanche with Feast in the Middle East. And guess what? I'm here in Flytrap San Francisco, one of the most landmark restaurants here with an iconic chef, Haas Zade, and he gives Haasy hugs, right? That's it. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm really excited to be here with him. He gives dishes a Persian flair, and he always infuses his own creativity. And wait, wait explain which region of Iran you're from. Uh, I am from northern Iran, Azerbaijan, Tabriz, which is a okay. Turkish region, Azerbaijani. Okay. Yeah, and he came here and he left his mark here and things have never been the same. And I'm really excited because he's going to introduce a twist on a dish called kifta. Now, I know a lot of you viewers have been asking me for vegetarian and vegan rest, uh, recipes. And of course, he has something up his sleeve and he's going to share it with us right now. So what is the name of this dish? Well, if we call it kufta, vegetarian kufta. We had a Monday night meatball, which is I was doing like, a, again, I create my own. And then not too small, not too big. I was doing like a duck confit, chicken legs. Yeah. Uh, uh, beef chicks or braised lamb and became a very famous Monday night meatball. So so that's what kifta is essentially. It's a meatball and it could have grains in it and it could have various meats in it. And so what you've presented today is that it's more of a vegetarian Big stuff. and there's a lot of protein in this meatball. As I'm looking, I'm looking at beans here and, and it it's looks like you have some grains. Yes, yeah, I have a 30% of vegetarian customers. We See, make all the soups growing. every night, it's vegetarian, yeah. gluten free. So what happened was they were asking for vegetarian dishes. Right. And this comes as a sign uh, major. I used to have always my psychology, a notebook next to my bed. So in the middle of the night, anytime I woke up with the dreams, I used to write it. That's the perfect because you thing forget to do. The, yeah, you forget the dreams. You remember the earliest right. dream. So one day I saw, I was thinking about this vegetarian kufta because my vegetarian customer was asking. And I woke up, I saw this like bulgur, beans, garlic, and stuff like that. I'm like, what is this? I came here at 5 o'clock in the morning. I woke up at 4, I was in the restaurant at 5 o'clock. This is the mind of a real artist right here. Preparing <laughs> doing it here. My guys came at 8 o'clock. They saw it, like a little mad science here. Yeah. And this dish came out. One thing I usually in my Instagram or anywhere, I, I don't give the precise recipes. Yeah. I let the people they add, like you don't like cilantro, add parsley. You don't like cumin, add fenugreek. So play around with your own recipe. Don't Perfect. follow my recipe exactly. Yeah, I think people <clears throat> get so wound up about measurements and sometimes, especially with something like this, you don't really need precise measurements. That's the, what yeah. I, yeah. Which I so love. So what yeah. we have here, I have a bulgur, which is the base, is mm -hmm. gonna be bringing it together. Then you can use the fricana. I have a black beans and the mm -hmm. kidney beans. Mm -hmm. You can use any kind of beans you want. You want chickpeas, you got a split peas, mm -hmm. or any kind. Then we have a zatar. I love zatar. I love zatar. There's yes. no stomach flavor, thyme, and everything. Then eggs. We're going to come back for that. You don't have to do with the eggs because this is going to be enough to hold the kufta together. Okay, but so for vegans, you don't need the eggs, but the eggs do add flavor, right? Add flavor. Okay. So then we have a salt and pepper, mm -hmm. and then the cumin, and I have a mix of parsley and mint here. Mm -hmm. So um, we're gonna make this dish together. I wanna show these beauties. It's a roasted smoky tomato with a garlic and uh, onions and a jalapeno and cilantro. We bake in the oven about 15 minutes. You see the caramelization. Mm -hmm. The whole thing with the olive oil is gonna go to the mixer, Robocop. You puree it with the olive oil oh. and a little salt and pepper. Awesome. Simple. And the sauce is... And you can is, smell it, and it smells so gorgeous. So beautiful. I have yeah. it actually, I'm gonna give you, even I'm not gonna let you to wait. Oh, is this the finished this sauce? This is the finished sauce. Oh, wow. Creamy. It's creamy. It's smoky. It's got a little bit of zest. It's smoky. I love it. Okay. It's a little bit sweet even from the tomatoes too. Exactly. So, perfect, perfect. No, to make this one very simple. Mm -hmm. So you just put, again, you see that I'm not going to measure it. Okay. Because of the, at the end. At the end, everything looks about a yeah. cup and a half. So I'm going to put that one. Like it's that. an equal part. A little right. more, a little less is okay. Mm -hmm. So you, you mix it all together. Okay. One thing I always tell to home cooks, you can always add it, you cannot take it out. So oh. always on the spices, go easy. Yeah. So later on, you can be able to, uh, so I'm gonna go for this little zatar. Okay. So you're not using that entire amount right no. now. You're just playing it by ear, a couple, like, you know, maybe a teaspoon of each, something like that. And you, this is already before the show, I fresh gun the pepper. Mm-hmm, beautiful. And cumin. Cumin helps digest those beans. We've heard this before, right, guys? Those yeah. of you been watching I, the show. And, I, and <laughs> one thing we talk about being one is I um, um, I like turmeric in it too because it's healthy. Yes. And two, remember, always soak your beans overnight. Mm -hmm. One, it cooks evenly, mm -hmm. nicely, and also be uh, take the side effect away. Yeah, it takes away uh, yeah side effects. We'll keep it at that. Keep that. <laughs> so we have all here. 
Okay, so that's easy. Mix it, and then um, so okay. all we have here. So we're gonna go one egg. egg. I love that you're taking control of the cooking here, and I get to just watch. This so you can beauty. mix this one. So you don't even have to whip the egg in advance. You can just no, toss just it right in, no problem. Right? So these are panko yeah. crumbs. Panko crumbs. You use panko. Yeah. Okay, very nice. When you're making the run, you take yeah. that one, make the run one. Okay. And then roll it on the breadcrumbs again, so it doesn't really stick. So okay. I'm gonna go three of these. I'm gonna put the fryer. All right. Don't we all wish we had a big fat fryer like this in our house, right? So that's while working. You can always do a pan roasted. This Perfect. is another way of doing a kufta. Mm -hmm. To make it nicely cooked on that one, yeah. you want to make this one a little flat. Oh, okay. This is how we do it. You flat, circle. So it's like falafel. Falafel, yeah. You right, do that so it one cooks faster, right? Faster and also get a more surface of crispness. Nice. And this also saves on calories for those of you who are watching your weight, right? Instead of being absorbed in a big vat of oil, this is a great substitution. Oh, so, yeah. So, I'm gonna let you do that one. You spoon it, okay. put it here, spread it. So, this is the sauce that we talked about earlier, right? Yes, that's the smoky sauce. Oh. I'm gonna put this one here because it looks like so that? beautiful, colorful. I wanna just camera capture that background. Oh, it's background. just beautiful. Right. So, you have I three of them. Uh -huh. three. No. To make this one feel pretty, you have a beautiful avocado <gasps> yes. with the parsley. Not only I am playing with the flavor, I am playing with the color too. Yes. Pure, uh, a cure olives. Wow. Black olives. Black olives. So we're gonna okay. take this one. Is it really cool oh. on the plate? Is okay this one because yeah. of the color. A little sprinkle everywhere and is color. nice. Uh -huh. No, this is beautiful. Mm -hmm. The last part we're gonna do a little color again. Mm -hmm. Little feta, barrel aged feta cheese. This looks ridiculous. Like okay. I, I, I could probably eat 40 okay. of these. And the last part is a little parsley for the green color. I don't know if, you, if they say this in Farsi, but in Arabic they say you eat with your eyes. Do you guys say the same thing? That's the same thing. Yeah. Food like, is in one language. But food is one language and we all communicate. So, and look how things. gorgeous it is. When you have the food. dish in front of you, yeah. what is, pleases you first? Eyes. Yes. It looks pretty. Then smell. Mm -hmm. Then test. Always yeah. eyes comes first. Yes. You want to make it attractive. Mm -hmm. But I'm not one of those tweezer things. Guy. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I <laughs> Tweezers. Am so, so just to recap, we got like three tomatoes, looks like an onion, and some uh, jalapeno. jalapeno, and it looks like a. The roasted garlic. Yeah. Do some fennel, caramelized fennel. Oh, I love fennel. So that caramelized aroma. Caramelized fennel is delicious. Like I say, yeah. the whole idea about cooking, be creative. Mm -hmm. Add something, take something that you like. You rock, thank My you for, for helping me with this. Now we're gonna try to eat it. Gonna go sit down this is the best that, part. Yeah. So I'm gonna have this first bite and I yeah, want yeah, you to yeah. talk to me. <laughs> I wanted you to talk to me about what what inspired this, for example. Well, it's yeah. the same I, I, I have on the menu of which signature pistachio meatballs mm -hmm. with uh, pomegranate and uh, harissa and um, honey glaze. Mm -hmm. That became a signature here. Now, when you, when you develop a recipe like this, how many trials do you do you make before you get it right? I don't go for the customer first. First, it makes me happy, myself. When I am right. satisfied good, with the happy, do that one. Mm -hmm. Then my kitchen guys in the kitchen, I have great respect for my crew. Mm. When they come, doesn't matter their line cook or the dishwasher or whatever, I make it the test for everybody. Mm. And I see their response. You are gifted because this is the most extraordinary kufta I've ever had. And you don't miss the meat. And there's, uh, it has like a meaty texture in it. The and the bright, it's got a little bit of spice and it's got uh, the zest from the za'atar, which I love. I love mixing za'atar in unexpected oh, places okay. like this. this is, you, I, I just want to eat the whole thing. <laughs> my mom you know like from cooking oh. that's okay <laughs> that. here's an extra one actually you know what this one that's a better bit I'll you, know eat what that. Is that? you know what's what that did that one? fall that's into pistachio pesto hell yeah that i'll eat very pistachio well pesto <laughs> actually you're gonna love that one i'm gonna love that one maybe i can anything that's drenched in this much sauce okay